In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all would be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be enrolled, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the end. And in that region there were shepherds in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. and. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring to you good news of great joy, when there will be come for the, all the people to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign for you, you will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to, pe to people of, on whom he is well pleased. When the angel went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see the thing that was happening, which the Lord hath made known to us. And they went and in haste and found Mary and Joseph and a baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told to them concerning the child. And all who heard it were wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. Christmas is here. Today we see the baby Jesus. We read the story of his humble and triumphant birth, attended by the shepherds and the angels. We rejoice with them and with the whole world saying, Glory to God in the highest. Perhaps the wait of Advent seemed very long, the wait of mankind from the fall of Adam until the birth of Christ through all the patriarchs and prophets was a wait of thousands of years. Our Christian faith is illuminated by that wait. The Old Testament is devout valuable in itself as the inspired word of God and is the fullness of it is revealed to us in the light of Christ, crucified and risen from the dead. But of course, mankind is still waiting now for Christ's second coming. We pray that Jesus' return in glory and in the coming messianic kingdom awaited by Israel. Our Lord Jesus, you are the word of God made flesh and born of the Virgin Mary. Thank you for coming to dwell with us on earth. We ask you to dwell always in our hearts, especially as we celebrate with joy the season of Christmas. Amen.